Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. Rudy doesn't feel like he fits in. He's not like the other vegetables. He's a rutabaga, and he thinks the other vegetables are laughing at him. Do you ever feel that way, bookworms? Well, this story might help you. Let's enjoy the magic of reading as we read together. Rudy the Rutabaga, written by Stephen Megson and illustrated by Andy Yura. And let's see what happens to Rudy. Oh, look, bookworms, we're going to be reading about vegetables today. Deep in the furthest corner of the yard, a large and colorful vegetable garden bloomed. From the far windows of the house, the garden seemed quiet and boring. At a much closer look, though, the garden was a very busy and exciting place. The most popular vegetables were out playing with one another, laughing and enjoying the wonderful weather. The sun was shining brightly, and the vegetables were in a great mood. They look like they're having fun. A tomato, cucumber, and carrot were running around playing a game of tag. A group of broccoli were practicing Tai Chi. And the potatoes were as happy as could be reading on their couch. That would be me, bookworms. I hope it's you too. Despite the lovely weather, one strange root vegetable was not enjoying the sun, not laughing, and certainly not playing. He was alone, and it made him sad to always hear the other vegetables on days like these, when it seemed to him like everyone was laughing at him. Oh, poor lonely little guy. He looks so sad. Back on the sunny side, a red pepper and a yellow pepper were out exploring when they found a nut that had fallen from a nearby tree. Hey, let's play catch, said the yellow pepper. Yeah, want to see how far I can throw, asked the red pepper. Go long. The red pepper wound up and threw the nut with all its might. The nut soared through the air, bounced off the yellow pepper's head, and crashed into the brush behind them. Oh, no, cried the yellow pepper. You lost the nut. We'll never find it. Oh, boy. The peppers pushed through the leafy brush and started searching for their nut when they soon realized they were in an area of the garden they were not familiar with. I don't like the look of this place, said the yellow pepper. Let's just leave it and get out of here. Boy, they both look very nervous, don't they, bookworms? When the peppers turned to leave, a large and very unusual vegetable blocked their path. Are you looking for this? The angry vegetable asked, holding out the nut. Uh, yes, we were a plain catch and it got away, said the red pepper sheepishly. Let's just leave it and run, the yellow pepper whispered to the red pepper. This thing does not look happy. Ah, uh, excuse me, but what are you exactly? Asked the red pepper. Oh, he doesn't look happy at all. What? gasped the vegetable. I am a rutabaga. I was minding my own business here away from all of you rowdy vegetables when I was suddenly struck in the head by this nut. A ruta what? asked the yellow pepper. Rutabaga, the rutabaga enunciated slowly. Do peppers not have ears? More like rutabaga, said the red pepper, offended. Oh, they don't look very happy, do they? Well, it's not surprising that you don't know what I am. I'm not popular like all you other vegetables, so I stay over here by myself. Why are you vegetables over there always making so much noise anyway? The two peppers huddled together for a moment, then turned back to the rutabaga with a smile. Why don't you let us show you? The skeptical rutabaga thought hard, hesitated, and finally agreed to the offer from the peppers. Oh my. The peppers grabbed the rutabaga by his arms and walked back through the brushy entrance that they made earlier. 
When they broke through, the rutabaga was immediately overwhelmed. The warm, bright sun on his face blinded him, and there was a great loud mess of sound coming from all directions. The rutabaga stood in awe at what he was seeing and hearing. Everyone is laughing because they're playing and happy, exclaimed the rutabaga. This is what I've been hearing all this time. Mm. As the rutabaga stood there looking over the garden, a group of vegetables ran up and approached him. Hello, what's your name? Do you want to play with us? asked the tomato. The rutabaga looked at the vegetables and then over to the two peppers. This is our new friend Rudy, explained the peppers. Rudy? I like that, the rutabaga said with a large grin. But I don't really know how to play. Oh, that's okay, Rudy. We could teach you, said the tomato. How nice, they're being friends. And with that, Rudy smiled for the first time in a very long time. They spent the whole afternoon playing together. The Pepper's kindness and new friendship helped Rudy see the sunny side of life. Sun on my skin To feel the earth under my feet A quiet wind the steady sound of my heartbeat I breathe it in receive this moment as a gift. If you enjoyed this story, please check it out at your local library or buy a copy from your favorite bookstore.